Hi everybody, welcome to Monkey on Madness. Um, this is the second recording today. Um, this is a normal Monday stream over at Ustream TV and I am talking to a live audience so that's um, who I'm talking to. And I think I've only been on for about an hour now so I've got a lot more time um, to draw so I think I'll do some more Zen Tangles. So these crazy women can give me names of tangles to draw. Um, if you watch my recording from yesterday, which is not up on um, YouTube yet, um, this is one of the tiles I started yesterday. I think it was Connie asked me to draw between, so I just scoped it out real quick and did this. And then last night while I was watching Jennifer, and the Bronco game, and we won't talk about the Bronco game. Um, I went ahead and just um, added a few little things because Brenda um, had asked about the design called Dillo, I think, wasn't it? Dillo? Um, I probably still have it sitting here, actually. And so I started just drawing it around the tile. And it turned out really nice. I, I really like the way it finally turned out. I really do. So, and they're so cool after they're shaded. Like, they don't look nearly as cool until they're shaded, you guys. So, don't forget to do that when you're tangling. Because the shading, like, in there, that shading makes all the difference. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to go ahead. Armadillo, yep. Armadillo. I I think Scooby Doo is on the list, Teresa. I will double check. But I'm pretty sure if you're watching this recording and you have no idea why I'm talking about Scooby Doo all of a sudden, um, for October I'm doing um, vintage cartoon characters, and one of the ladies in chat just mentioned. Scooby-Doo. And I can't believe it, Teresa, but I don't think Scooby's on the list, so we will put Scooby on the list. He will get drawn. He is on the list now, Teresa. And I just went down the list quickly, so he might be there. But there's still a ton left to do. I mean, I could be drawing these guys forever. Another thing Dee, Dee mentioned this morning is she wants, she said I should do a whole show of the Beast. I don't know what I could talk about in the Beast for that long. So if you guys want to see it, say so. Because um, this is the Beast. Um, I just don't know what I could talk about for an hour <laughs> about the Beast. Janet Laced is laced is an in easy tangle actually I think I have that one. Oh no glad I I know Teresa right um let's see laced I have a book of designs that I'm looking this up in um yeah I love lace do you guys want me to do that one I don't need the card but it is really a cool design Let's do it for you guys, you beginners, because it, it is very easy, but it looks so cool. You want to see the beast? All right. Um, here comes Mr. Grocery Shopper Guy. I'll show the beast. Maybe I'll, I'll draw for a while. I saw that. What made you think of that? Hmm? What made you think of Cheez-Its? I love Cheez-Its. I know you did. That's why I got them. You're so nice. And I got you something else, too. <gasps> it's so much fun when Robert Vaughn goes grocery shopping because he comes home with nothing but junk. <laughs> For real. It's awesome. And I, I'm not that big of a junk buyer. Uh, sometimes I am. I can't say that I'm not. But, yeah, as a rule, I'm not that much of a junk buyer. I buy actual food that we can eat. He's got lots of Werther's. Oh my gosh, you got Klondike bars. There goes your phosphorus number. Hello. Oh, you can take my um, milkshake out of there and let it thaw, hon. I'll, I'll finish it today. Robert. It's all right. 
We'll take it out. I want it to thaw a little bit. <laughs> you want what now? I want it to thaw a little bit so I can oh. eat it in a little while. Teresa said, hi, Ratatouille. Hi there. <laughs> All right. They want to see more of the bees. All right. I will do more of the bees. Oh, my God. Look at you. Robert, and I don't know if it's something about his treatment or whatever, but um, Robert has been craving salt. So we've got, oh my God, look at, he bought me, what at? Reese's. Yeah, he bought me a whole package of Reese's peanut butter cups. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh, Robert Vaughn, Robert Vaughn. All right, so anyway, um, this is the one that CB is talking about. Get out your um, paper and pencil, you guys. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna do this in ink. I'm not even gonna do it in pencil. I'm gonna go direct to ink. All right, and I'll leave this step out here so you can see it. He is. He's so nice. Did you get your pills? Yes. Okay. No problem there. Sweet. Did you treat them like the gold that they are? No. I just stuck them on pocket. Uh, and then when I got out of the car, I thought, I wonder if somebody saved me to stick those in my pocket now. Be, be out here arresting me. I'd be more afraid that they'd fall out and we'd have to buy them. Hi, Sharon. You made it into chat. That's great. I like Reese's Cups. I read a thing the other day that they're supposed to kill you, but I think they're lying there. Alright, I'm going to draw it. I won't cheat like I normally would. Um, but I am going to use a straight edge. So, because I am just that anal. Alright, here we go. Um, I think I will do on this one, like I did on the last one, where um, the real people who develop Zentangle talk about starting with a string. Okay? Meaning just a, a border design. Um, and this is a pretty small card, but I'm going to do laced all in the back there, and then I can fill in with other stuff. So, um, you'll end up with multiple designs on one page, right? So all you need is some straight lines. And see, now most people would say, you're not supposed to use a ruler. I don't care. This is supposed to be relaxing. And um, unstraight lines would make me nervous. So I was thinking you could use lace with the knot one we did yesterday, and we're using the top left square to make her swing down and bring back some lines. Oh, that's a good idea, Jan. Everything kills you. Isn't that the truth? You're at Happy Ray. Oh my gosh. Hi, by the way. Um, yeah. Yep, everything's going to kill you. So, um, I'm just going to go ahead and extend this line. But yeah, the, um, the crooked lines would make me more nervous than, um, not having the lines at all, so. You have to bear with my bad anal self. Alright, so I'll start with one and then we'll add more as we go. Um, I think it's easier that way for the over and under, you know, stuff that appears behind. So, alright, and when you finish the line, on this edge, you're going to draw a backward C, say, and this way, when you're going to draw a regular C around it to give it depth. So, and I do it in two strokes, but you don't have to. But that way, I know I don't have a little end sticking out. Thanks for my cool stuff. You're welcome. Did 
Did she say anything about your numbers? Did she get them before you leave? No. You left? No, okay. No. All right. I just didn't know. And then connect your, your little C's like that. And make like a little bead on it. HP is bugging me that there's something important right now. Whatever. Hi, Natalie. You haven't been around for a while. So welcome back. I'm going to bring the camera a little bit closer this way because I'm having a tendency to pull it toward me. Okay. Now I'm going under the one I just drew. And I don't think your beads have to be all the same size or anything like that. What have you got going on there? Robert's opening the mail. Oh. Insurance stuff. Yeehaw! Oh. I'm sorry, I opened yours. That's all right. Me too. Hmm. Oh, I know. Never mind. Ah. Okay, you guys getting the hang of this? If you guys can hear him chewing and it bothers you, speak up and I'll chase his butt out of here. Something probably want to read. I don't want to do it right now while I'm streaming. Hold it up so you guys can see it. And you can um, make as many of these as you want. <laughs> okay, now Suzanne's saying, you leave our Robert alone. I'm about <laughs> ready to kick his ass, Suzanne. <laughs> <laughs> leave our Robert alone. Rear. This one kind of reminds me of, I think it's called Hollabaugh, where you do the lines that are, are all piled up on each other, right? Don't hurt Robert. <laughs> you guys don't have to worry about Robert. He's lived this long. Chances are I'm not going to kill him today or tomorrow. I don't know how good the chances are, but chances are. I know, for a perfectionist like me, um, sometimes this can be painful. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to put one down here. And you could actually add another design, I think, in the background of this one. And I might.
Looking cool. You know I won't hurt him. Well, <laughs> don't be too sure of that. <laughs> Crunch away, Ratatouille. <laughs> I thought these people were my friends, Robert. An idiot is attempting to reach you on your cellular device. An idiot. Gonna have to leave a message. Oops, I forgot the ending lines over there. I don't know if any of you watched that Bronco game last night, but it was absolutely pitiful. It killed me. Oh, so bad. All right, she left a message. Good on her. That one's going to be a little tiny bead. Yes, that is the theme from Mario. <laughs> they are all pro Robert. Oh my God! What? All these women saying, "Leave me alone! Raise up your hands for Robert." <laughs> He's okay. You go, Robert. Yeah, those are some fun ringtones. I got them on a, a app called Zedge, Z E D G E, and um, oh my gosh, there are some really, really funny ones on there, you guys. I mean, really funny. I like an idiot is attempting to reach you on your cell phone. I like that. Um, yeah, they're they've got some great ones on there. So there we go. I don't know if I want to add more or not. I might just add some lines through here just to fill it in a little bit. Alright, I think that's it for laced. Who doesn't have that music burned in your brain? The um you mean the Mario music? I like the Mario music. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and color in the little spaces around the opening to the bead. Robert's grazing, so that's why you hear all the noise. My room is right alongside the kitchen, you guys. That's why you can hear everything in the kitchen real well in here. Bat and Pac-Man. Exactly, Suzanne. CB, find another fun one. I think in the background I'm almost just going to draw circles. Um, and it'll look real dark. Because um, this is a real light 
pattern. On this one, I've drawn the openings real big. Um, but when you're done with this, it's a real light. Um, yeah, and it can be done with curves also. Maybe that's what I should make myself do, huh, CB? So I quit being so darn anal. Can't help it. We'll do a curved one just to see if I like it as well. Because I'm draw I drew it so small and lightweight, um, and again, it would be heavier, the whole design, if I'd used a, a pen with a bigger nib, right? These pop-ups on my computer tick me off. I want to turn off all notifications, every one of them. They tick me off. All right. Glad I got that off my chest. Now we'll... Do some shading, which is my favorite part. The edges of the beads um, get shading to give them a sense of roundness, right? Um, where the bead sticks out of the the rod that's holding it gets a shadow. Anywhere the the rods meet, there'll be a shadow underneath on the bottom one. Right, right. Okay, is anybody drawing along with me? I hope, I hope. CB is probably still on D's. <laughs> and when I'm drawing, I do tend to do it like this. You know, like when I'm, I feel like I'm getting near the end of a design, that's when I go back and do the shading before I move on to a new design. It is very intricate. Rainbow Bridge. All right. I don't know if I have that one in my book. I guess I need to have a piece of paper out here where I can write on. Um, I looked at... Um, Pinterest for a minute this morning, CB. Have you heard of Jokey, J-O-K-I? Oh, you've already moved on to the E's. Yay, you. I wouldn't die. You're coloring. Dorothy's drawing. Cool. Eileen's shopping. Can you see how it changes as you shade it? It just makes it so cool looking. I would have loved to find something like this like when I was in high school. I would have graduated high school. Or well, maybe I wouldn't have graduated because I wouldn't have learned a damn thing. I'd have been doing this all day on my peachy. Which I did anyway. But they weren't this cool a design. And I bet you guys haven't thought of peaches in a long time.
It looks so much better when it's shaded. You're working, kinda. Suzanne's at work. Oh, you work from home. Okay, cool. I would never have um, made it working from home. Just saying. I would have spent all my time playing with my cool stuff. I think. I'm just going to add a couple more lines in here where I think um, it could use some. But I'm not adding the beads. I do want to do it curved though too and see. What is this peachy that you... Sp oh, a peachy? Um, a peachy, and it was spelled P-E-E-C-H-E, -E, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. Every one of these women, if you're in the United States, knew of peachies. But they were a uh, orangish-yellow folder that you kept your schoolwork in. But it didn't have um, any kind of binding. It just it folded over on itself. Hang on, let me see if I can figure it out here. It folded over on itself like this, and um, and it was glued top and bottom, so you could stick your papers in like this, right? And then it folded over like that. I love peaches. I don't. I haven't looked at school supplies to know. Do they still sell peaches? The old peaches, and they had. Um, you've never heard of a peachy? What the heck? Am I the only person? Somebody, please, um, tell me they've heard of peaches. And I know I don't have another one around. I don't have a peachy around here. But if I see it, I'm um, I'm going to buy one. But on the outside of it, they had um, drawings of, you know, basketball players, football players. Um, I can still think of the Peachy logo. I don't know. Call me crazy. All right, here, we're going to try it with a curved line. And I'm not using any aids this time. See, that's why I do it. My lines don't stay even. I have heard of Peaches. They had sports figures. Yes, they did, Cindy Lou Who. Okay. Whew. Yeah, they had basketball players, football players, but there was a lot of blank space. And they were printed brown ink on um, this yellowish orange paper, like goldenrod papers, say. And they were printed in brown ink. And everybody had peaches. Sharon's never heard of it. Oh my gosh. What the heck? Are you guys all from, like, somewhere else? I can't believe never hearing of peachy. Robert Vaughn? Yes, ma'am. When you were in school, were there such things as peaches? Those are what? Was there such things as peaches? The report things that you put your papers in? Peaches, when you were in school. You didn't have peaches either? Oh my god. Well, all I can say is you were some deprived children. I was what? Deprived children. I don't think so. Well, okay. you weren't because you were a spoiled brat. That's right. Look at, I goofed up. I hate that when I goof up. Amazon still sells them. They're retro. No, CB never heard of them. Oh my god, I thought everybody would have heard of a peachy. 
Well, there you go. That's back before you was born. No, I used peaches. You guys didn't. They weren't around when we were young. They hadn't been invented yet, I guess, then. Because I had them in my school. Everybody had peaches. Were they given out free? No. You bought them. Um, when you went school supply shopping with your mother? Oh, you got to be kidding me. You bought peaches to hold your papers in, and you could have multiples, you know, like one for science. They were for loose papers. Okay, Linda from Oklahoma. Hi, Linda, by the way. Um, she used them in school. Yeah, now you guys just got me thinking, geez, where did I grow up? I grew up in Denver, Colorado. And all the kids in Denver, Colorado had peaches. And I think I had peaches right up through college. And they would get all raggedy and you'd throw them away. So here's the curved version of it. And if I hadn't done that goofball line, when was I in school? Um, I graduated high school in 1975. So that tells you pretty much exactly how old I am. Actually, it probably would be good for me to do more um, stuff like this where I don't worry about is the line straight, whatever, whatever. But see the, the unevenness of the lines? Um, bothers me. I like nice straight lines. Maybe it was, I don't think it was a regional thing. I really don't. I was going to say uh, maybe it's a regional thing, but I don't think it is. can't believe you can still buy them on Amazon. That's funny. I guess you can get everything on Amazon, right? All right, Linden, Oklahoma. Okay, you're five years older. Well, somebody just put um, what year they were invented. First produced in 1943, CB, and you're not that old. I don't think. I think I have a kind of an idea of your age. You've told me before, so I should know. So there you go. There's the curved line one. They were your fancy folders. See, to me, they were just, um, okay, you used them in Vancouver, Washington. All right, so. Now it makes me want to order one and show you guys. So there's the straight line version with my anal self using a ruler, a straight edge. 
Um, there's the curve line version. Hi, Mac. All right, so we can do something in the background, or we can add another one. Rainbow Bridge. I don't think I have that one in my book, CB, so I may never have seen it before. I do like lace, though. I think it's a cool pattern, and I think um, Eileen has bailed on us. She's like, I am so not sitting through more Zentangle. I could sit through Zentangle every day. Okay, Rainbow Bridge, Rainbow I don't have Rainbow Bridge, but I will look it up, CB. Exactly, Judy. Judy, you are all over it. $10 for five folders? Are you kidding? Oh, my gosh. I think we used to buy them for a dime. For real. I'm not kidding, you guys. Really, really. All right. Let me look up and see if I can see Rainbow Bridge CV. Oops. Amazon Canada wants a hundred and nine dollars for a pack of three. Are you crazy? Eileen and Jen are both asleep. Well, Jen normally isn't here at this time. All right, here's Rainbow Bridge. Oh, I've seen this one before. This one's cute. It's a circle design. All right. I'll go ahead and make a little card for my book and we'll put that aside. We might add to it later. Um, they're vintage on Amazon. Well, apparently. Hmm. That's crazy, crazy, crazy. 109 bucks for three. You must really have to like them. Because really, they're nothing but paper. Rainbow Bridge. And if there's any others that you've got out there that you want to see drawn, go find them and um, I'll at least attempt them. I don't know that I'll um, succeed, but I will certainly give them a try. Yeah, it doesn't have to be straight. They show it as straight, but and I'll probably do it straight on this little card. Um, CB, you can mortgage your coffee pot if you s <laughs> if I send you a peachy. Well, now I wish I had some stuck away somewhere, but I really don't. Okay, so Rainbow Bridge, you start out with just some circles in a row. So we'll do that. And I foreshortened a lot of these um, instructions. Hmm. Scooby doesn't remember him. Her, Scooby's mother doesn't remember him either. Well, I'm glad at least somebody does. Otherwise, I'd be start thinking that maybe all that pot I smoked out in the parking lot um, had really messed with my brain. But other people remember him. Yeah, it's just a report. It's just a place to keep loose papers, Allie. Um, hi, by the way. Yeah. Go figure. And on the step-out cards, and actually, I, one of the things I actually like about the step-out 
out cards is you end up drawing it like a couple different times and I think every time you draw it you get a little better so it's really hard for you guys to see I know I'm sorry and then circles on top and on bottom so you make like a lacy edge with your circles it shows three but my circles are a size that I'm ending up getting four of them in there so it's just that can, we, can you see that I just did this step here now I'm gonna add this step this is kinda cute though I have to say and honestly you guys even doing something like this like drawing these circles freehand I think that can't do anything but improve your drawing skills even something seemingly as small as that I think helps every time you pick up a pen um, and sometimes just as an exercise I'll just get out a piece of paper and just start drawing circles and the longer you draw them the more perfect your circle will be if you're you know concentrating and, and trying um, and moving faster is not necessarily better I'm moving fast for the sake of streaming Okay, so they want you to put a little highlight on your bubbles. I'm going to put them at the top rather than the bottom. And this one I actually am only going to need three because I'm just going to add everything right here and then this one I guess just draw those little fans out um, they're almost shaped like flower petals or something like that yep every bit of it yeah it's an envelope folder thingy there you go Suzanne's all over it and I think here it might be important if you kept your stuff um, kind of the same size this is so small I'm gonna have to draw it bigger on the back oops you know like with any of these the um, the more uniform they are the better they're gonna be for sure I have to stop and think when I'm drawn upside down it is pretty intricate when you do it small I will say I'll do draw it on the back um, bigger and curved kind of cool CD there it is real real small can you see that now I'm gonna do it on the back you're spraying a book that you're making cool all right I'm gonna do this one a little bit bigger a lot bigger actually
What are you going to use your book for, Eileen? Yeah, this is easier for you guys to see a little bit bigger for sure. You like the organic tangles? It would probably be better for me, CB. You're making a leaf book. A book of like really leaves, like oak leaves and elm leaves. <laughs> Or is there something about it I'm not getting? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm liking this one. Um... And again, I don't know why, but I'm going to put my highlight on the um, top. No, you can't. No, can't you imagine the size of palm fronds? Well, I figured you'd just store it out in your warehouse, Eileen. I envision your warehouse is huge, so the size of a book wouldn't be really an issue. Right? Isn't that how everybody else envisions her warehouse? Like, large. Uber, uber large. Like, it fits Mercedes and palm fronds. That's how I envision your warehouse. Call me crazy. This one does look very complicated, and when you start drawing, it's like, well, this isn't hard at all. Those are the kind of designs I like. That when you're done, anybody could do it. It looks way cool, but really little or no effort. Keep your fingers crossed that Amazon, I'm inserting cross in there, will open its next warehouse in Palm Beach. Exactly, Kat. It has its own zip code. That's how I envision her warehouse. Yep, its own zip code. I can't believe I've almost finished that whole cup of coffee. I want more. I did like this one too, CB, because when they when I looked it up, the design that I found they showed it in color. Um, I've done a little bit in color, but as a rule, I've not done um, Zentangle in color. So when they show it in color, I always find it interesting, but I don't know that I want to do that. Um, but I'm liking this design. I think it's cool looking. Keep your fingers. Keep your fingers. My stupid city pulled out of it bidding for Amazon second headquarters. Wow, CB. That was really stupid. Because I think a company like Amazon, they can pretty much ask for whatever tax breaks and get them. And honestly, I don't necessarily have a problem with a city doing that, especially a company like Amazon, um, where you know 
there's going to be good, steady, high-paying jobs um, for the community because the community is going to make up the difference in the taxes in um, taxing the employees and the additional money that is spent in the community. Um, so, I don't know. My feeling is, um, you know, there's arguments both sides. I'm sure, you know, why do you have to give away, you know, the whole city and not collect taxes um, to get them to move there? Well, because you're getting a lot of jobs, it's better for your entire economy overall because when they start spending money at the grocery stores and the gas stations and taking their family out to eat, um, that money starts really growing because then the waitress can buy a new car and the cook can take his family out to eat. You know, I mean, it, it's just trickle-down economics is, in fact, what it is. So... I don't know. I, if I was running a community, I'd be like, bring them on. They want 90 warehouses by 2020. 1,500 in Orlando. See that? There you go. I mean, 1,500 jobs from one employer, that's amazing. It's awesome, and I would not have a problem if my community gave away the taxes to get the jobs. Just saying. Now, if it's a company where they can't guarantee you, you know, a sizable amount of jobs, yeah, we're not going to give away the goat, you know. But, yeah, a company like Amazon where you know um, there's good longevity there and there's good long-term, um, decent-paying jobs. Yeah. I'll give you a key to the city in a minute. I'm liking this one after I, I'm getting it shaded, too. I'm not sure where you're at, Sharon. Okay, you bid and so did Miami. I would think that Boca would be a great address to have, but yeah. Because I'm sure there's people in Boca who um, aren't living next door to um, the Kennedy compound, you know. Of course, that's up in Palm Beach anyway. But really, down there, if I remember right, Eileen, I mean, you don't know when you leave Boca and, and drive into Palm Beach or Fort Lauderdale or anything. So, okay, you're in El Paso, Texas. I would think... Um, that would be a great place for one. I'd think Wichita, Kansas, because it is absolutely central United States. Exactly, Julie. A lot of um, a lot of towns do. And for the jobs, to me, it makes perfectly good sense. So, it looks like a caterpillar, right? I think I'm going to have to turn it into a caterpillar. A very pretty fancy caterpillar. With bug eyes. And antennas. There. Now it's a very pretty caterpillar. <laughs> Not Boca, but Palm Beach. Okay. If it was Boca, they'd have to paint it pink. <laughs> so there was our very fancy little caterpillar critter. And I'll put on the back of it for myself to see the back so I know that I've done um, more on the back. So that was fun, CB. Now I have another one for my book. Okay, and then another one, I don't know was if it was um, CB or Brenda. 
CB, was this yours? Now I can't even remember the name of it. I know you had done the macrame. Um, for those of you guys who weren't here yesterday, we drew this one. The knots. With the, I love this one. I think this is so pretty. Um, what the heck was that one called? All spin. All spin. But I did. I drew that again, too. I really like that one there. I think that's really pretty. That one might be pretty if I colored in the background back there. Let's try it. What the heck? We got nothing better to do. These are just laying here from when I was doodling yesterday. Well, during the Bronco game and during Jennifer's stream last night. So if you want to learn how to draw this one, O-L-S-P-I-N, check out either the video from yesterday or look it up on the internet. O-L-S-P-I-N, Olspin, I guess. That is awesome, Julie. That is way awesome. She's talking about the um, different companies have moved to her little town um, because their town is is very agreeable on tax incentives. And there you go. That just proves it. I mean, they have companies like Subaru, Wabash, Cat, GE Aviation. I mean, who wouldn't love companies like that moving into your community? Um, it keeps families there. It, there's just no downside. And the city makes up for it. You know, in, in other taxation, whether it's goods and services or income. I don't know. Yeah. There. That changed it a little bit. Are you streaming every Sunday? And if so, what time? Um, I'm not. Um, Elish? Okay, I'll look it up. Um, no, yesterday afternoon, I'm not sure who convinced me that I needed to stream yesterday. But no, Sunday is not going to be a regular day for me. Um, not uncommonly, Sunday is a family day for me. So... Um, my brother was just getting back from the Bahamas this week, this weekend, yesterday. He just got back yesterday. So, um, but generally if, if I'm going to do something with family, it's always on the weekend, Sunday, um, because we combine hanging out, eating, and generally watching football. <laughs> Because we are, like, the all-American family, I guess. But that's, you know, my brother owns a business. So that's about the only time we can all get together. Plus, it's 35 miles over there, so I don't like to go in the evening. Because then I get home too late. Oh my god, are you kidding? CB. Okay, now this one is a little bit more of a challenge. It's curvy and betweedy. <laughs> That's a funny little description. Oh my gosh. Let's give this a go. It looks awesome. Woohoo! Let's do it. All right, we got. I've been on what two hours. All right, and is is Jean streaming today? Um. Yeah, she normally streams on Monday, doesn't she? 
I don't have a regularly scheduled second stream during the week. I kind of just wait and let the women trick or head me when um, when they're particularly bored or whatever. Um, so, but I usually do stream twice, at least twice a week. Um, the second one is just not scheduled. But I have a terrible time saying no to Eileen and CB. Oh, everybody. I just, I'm a sap. I can't say no. Okay. So you, it starts out with just a curvy line. We can do a curvy line, right? Let me put this one aside. I'll try and leave this where you guys can see it. And I can still draw. Okay. Alright, here's our curvy line. And then like that. You might want to do this one a little bit fatter. Because I've got to draw a little thing inside it. Okay, you guys there so far? Alright. And then add these curly cues to make it look like a capital L, a capital cursive L. So far, so good. I'm liking it so far. All right. Now I have to start a new one. I think the important thing is make sure you, like, see this one's real skinny? Make sure you leave it wide enough to get that little thing in the middle. I don't know if anybody's getting notifications anymore, Suzanne. I really don't. Uh, I can check to see if my settings... Um, I know I'm getting settings or er, notification from some people, but I don't pay any attention. I know I do from um, Bunny Designs and I think Dee Dee. Alright, so after you get the basic design then you just start, I'm going to call it haloing or aring around the outside. Okay, let's give it a go. Lots of R's, yes, that's what it looks like. And you start from the same point. All right, wait a minute. All right, wait. I I went the wrong way, so I've got to draw um I'll add it on this one up here. Just checking myself, making sure I'm doing this right, because it shows it on both sides. All right. And draw your lines from whatever direction is most comfortable for you. Um... So that's how it looks up to that point. All 
All right, so now I've got to go ahead and R this one. On both sides. All right, I think that's good. And then, yeah, you just start R-ing all over the place. R-ing. Oh my gosh, that's so hard. Um, it is kind of a pain CB, but it's very cool looking, I think. Very cool looking. And then you just keep doing that. Um, it would actually be better, I think, if it was a little bit larger. Um, but yeah, we'll just go ahead and and finish out the whole. You now. And I think the more you do it, the better you would get at this. Um, you're frozen. Okay, you refreshed. Scroll down that page to the one with pearls. Okay. Let me just get the hang of this one. One more time, CB. Um, And then you just alternate the R-ing, and that's what makes it look so cool. Yeah, I like this one. I'm going to draw it big. Um, I think I'll really like this one. Of course, you run out of space in the, in the center um, pretty quickly. But you can keep doing the outsides until you just run out of space altogether, right? But you have to alternate doing the loop and then the straight and then the loop and then the straight. And if you forget where you are, just look at where your last line ends and that'll tell you what your next line's going to be. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, because I, well, no, I didn't goof up. I thought I goofed up. Say, so, okay, you screw up, you. And I guess you could just keep going on doing this forever. The never ending R a knot. There, I'm about back where I need to be now. When you get it all done, it looks way cool. I like that a lot. Oh, what pen am I using? I, I say this almost every stream. This is a Hybrid Technica in 
millimeter nib. I buy them at, well, you can actually get them in a set at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. I think they're a little pricey. I think you can get them at Jet Pens, and I just order them by the box from Amazon. I don't even know how much they cost, and it doesn't matter because they're the best pen made anywhere in America today. All right, let's just quickly shade this little bad boy. They're not showing the shading, so I'm just making it up as I go along. But you can kind of see that the shading wants to be where all the lines converge, right? And then where they meet here in the middle. And because I drew it so small, I can't do too much, but I'll do a little bit. That is cool looking CB. I like it because that white part right in the center that you started with um, stands out. You end up sleeping during my streams. That's okay. You've been up for a long time watching Dee Dee. Alright, and now I'm going to, oops, drop my card on the floor. I'll be drawing this one again tonight, I'm pretty sure. Elish is fun. Alright, now let me go back and she said go down that same page to pearls hmm is that the name of it CB pearls oh look at this one that is some kind of serious cool I don't know if it's ever gonna clear up or if it's just gonna stay blurry but that is way cool Wow. Is that the name of a pattern, CB? Because I'm apparently on Pinterest right now, and um, I love all these curvy ones. This one's very cool, too. And these are just people's art that they post, correct? More like you have an energy-sucking alien inside me. <laughs> Same tangle as Elish. Okay, I'm sorry. I goofed up. I don't know if it's going to keep taking me back and back or what. Nope. I'm going to have to type it in again. Bear with me. Bear with me. I didn't think it would let me um, keep going down CB. Because I just searched like that. Yeah, see, that's just... Um, Yeah, that's just one the the pattern, CB. It's not going to let me go. Oh wait, unless I go like this. I'm not sure how I'm going to find it. Oh, I like that one too. Isn't that cool looking? Now that. That is that Elish design, the beginning of the design, right? Yeah, that's that Elish design. Um, their ending lines um, finish different. So, yeah. And then they put zingers on the outside of it. And I love this leaf pattern around the edge of anything. I'm a huge fan. Is this the one? Oh, you on um, tanglepatterns.com? Oh, but I like this one. Look at the little baby snail down there. He kiss you. I can go over to Tangle Patterns. This is the same design it looks like. Um, yeah, I'm going to draw that again because look at how when you draw it bigger, it looks like those steps are going down. Um, mine don't look that way because I didn't have enough area to draw them. This is a cool pattern. Um, I can go to tanglepatterns.com and see if I can find it, CB. Let me just go there. Only takes un momento.
I can't believe I signed into Pinterest this morning. I haven't been on there like forever. I ju I'm just heading over there. All right, does anybody else have another one they want to see? Why is it not going? Hello? There. I typed it in wrong. Sorry. What the heck? All right, bear with me a minute. It's not letting me go to tanglepatterns.com. But then it takes me back to, oh, wait a minute. Never mind. Never mind. That one's really pretty though. Alright, here we go. We're going to E. Alright. They show a whole different one on here. have to look at this. Oh, wrong thing. All right, now it's going to the right place, I think, CB. It's talking to me in Chinese or Japanese or kanji. <laughs> no, it's going to all spin. What the hell? This crazy thing is doing anything it wants to do, apparently. All right, here's Curvy. Okay, she's showing it one way, Curvy, and then Betweety. All right, I get it now. Is this what you were looking at, CB? I don't see what you're talking about. I'm not seeing it, girly girl. CB probably messed it up, you think? I don't think so. Sometimes this Kindle really does have a mind of its own. I, But I know it's operator error because it really doesn't have a mind of its own. Alright, well, I'm not finding it. But there is some sweet looking artwork on here. I have to say that. I don't know what this is either. Now this one's kind of cool because they've done it with, um, it looks to be on maybe tan stock with brown 
lighter in the background that is very cool and then black and white on top with some um, ochre or something like that that's cool looking yeah I use I use the microns um, but for fine lines and doing these excuse me small patterns like this I use the real real fine nib of the hybrid but like drawing this I use microns on this yeah hybrid technica by Pentel um, and they come in zero three zero four five six I think alright we need to come up with another really cool pattern um, I was looking this morning I'm gonna look up JOKI cuz that one looked really cool I don't know if it's on um, tanglepatterns.com though. We will find out. Well, or if you find a page, um, just link it for me, CB, and I'll go look at it later. Come on. I'm wanting you to go to J now. I saw it this morning. It was called Jokey. J O K I. Mm, here it is. I don't think I have this one in my book. Most of my patterns in my book are from um, tanglepatterns.com and this was another real swirly one All right. it's gonna take me somewhere else I think yep it's on somebody else's blog so you gotta take the link The rate this is moving, I could make a pot of coffee. Alright, give me a sec. I'm going to get a cup of coffee. There we go. It's finally popping up. Alright, let's see what we got going on. I just thought that was really pretty, and it doesn't look hard. It looks pretty simple. So I thought we could try that one. Have you done this one, CB? We're going to try it. It looks very cool looking. If you can draw a curvy line, you can too. You too can do this just looks like a curly cue. They're showing it in I don't know how many steps. I'm going to do it in four. Okay. It's called Jokey, I think. I don't know how you pronounce that. However you pronounce J-O-K-I. It's not even a word, I'm sure. Most of these tangle pattern names are not words. They're made up. Okay? So there we go. It shows down in the corner of your box. To start with a curly cue. And I don't know if it matters how many times you go around. Right, right. And then I 
And actually, I only need two steps, so I'm going to do a different variation of it. Um, and then it shows starting down here in the corner, drawing. I don't even know what to call this. I'm going to call it like a leaf shape, I guess. And then just keep doing that. Well, that's simple enough. So it looks like a snail with humpy shell, right? That was easy enough. I'm going to draw it again. That's simple enough. Kind of um, the premise of a lot of these designs. Okay. And so, um, to make this whole design, what she's done is just draw one on top of the other, which is very cool looking. Let me do it on the back. And how you end it down here, I guess, is really up to you. It doesn't matter. And then draw it going the other way. And I guess your curly cue can be as big or as little as you want, right? You're the boss. Oops, sorry, I'm off screen. And then she shows the variation where you actually add lines in there to connect them. So I'm going to go ahead and show that back here. That's cool enough. And then adding circles in here to fill up this space. Still yes, I am. For a little while longer. You what? For a little while longer. Okay. Your ice cream is about an ice cream. That's all right. I'm going to drink it here in just a second. You can hand it to me if you want. It's just my leftover from see it from the other night. Thank you.
I don't know. I'm going to have to play with that one some more. Mine doesn't look as cool as that one, but I think it can be. So there you go. J-O-K-I. Simple stuff. I just put some coffee in the microwave. But now I have shaky milk to drink, so it doesn't matter if I have coffee until later. <laughs> it, well, I can't add my coffee to my shaky milk because I'll melt it. Alright, you guys, give me another design. Sorry that I'm going to eat a milkshake in front of you, but it needs to be eaten now before it thaws anymore. Yeah, coffee sounded good until um, he got this milkshake out of the freezer. It was just left over from the other night. All right. Another one I saw. Um, anybody can do this, but I thought it was very cool looking, and that you guys probably would enjoy it. Um, and it's a simple checkerboard pattern, and I I think it was on Pinterest. So, um, let me just type it in and see what comes up real quick. I can probably draw it without. Um, I'll look it up on Safari and see. Oh, maybe I saved it. Hang on. No, I didn't. All right, let's see what it comes up with. I don't see it here. Nope, not it. Anyway. It was a, a cool thing, and I thought you guys would like it because um, it's a simple way to give something um, bulk or, um, I don't even know how to say it, substance, but let's just, I'll just draw it in a box, only it should be bigger. All right, I'll just do it this way. Alright, just draw a heart. I'm going to draw it kind of big. And this is just to show you guys. And maybe you know it, maybe you don't. I, I know some of you always say, oh, I can't draw, I don't know how you do that. Um, so leave that as one element. And then behind it, I'm going to use the three. I'm afraid I'm going to crush that. Behind the heart, draw just a black and white grid. Checkerboard. And doesn't get any much simpler than this, right? And this is not the neatest in the whole world, but you're going to get the idea. I'm just going to color the ones around, you know, up close to the heart. Ratatouille came back for his second V8. Run like a Ford. Apparently. Remember, we won't be back up to Sam's Club 
for a while. <laughs> I guess we could get them at Walmart and Grove. Of course, now, what, we're at Monday? Is this your second week off, the 15th? We'll be back up there the first, is what we'll be. Think back at work. Joplin. Because no. I'm thinking if you run out of V8, we won't be back up there for a while. But actually, it's only two weeks away now, believe it or not. I can't believe I've already been off two weeks. Well, no, you've actually only been off a week. <laughs> But we have to go back for a doctor's appointment. All right. I didn't think about this taking so much time. It's all right. We got nothing but time, right? Some of you are going to know this, but if you're a beginner, you probably don't know this and don't appreciate what it can do for your designs if you um, employ it in other designs. I just saw it shown as a heart, and I thought, you know what, I bet they don't, some of them, anyway, don't appreciate what that can do. Okay, now you've got a heart. All right, so if you want that heart to look like it's um, not part of that page, right, and that it has some um, depth to it, I guess, <clears throat> on the inside of the heart, draw a checkerboard different size than the other one, but use curved lines. and it's going to look like it's bulging I guess is the best word that I can use to describe what happens to the heart when you use the curved lines It doesn't really matter where you start. Not this is really just quick. I just wanted you to see what the curve lines, how it changes. I almost wish that hadn't happened, but oh well, it did. And this is really messy, you guys, but I'm just trying to do it quickly for you. Obviously, it's going to look better. If you take your time. Ratatouille left. Maybe I'll go out and clean the garage. I doubt it, but I wish you would. <laughs> or wash the car. I maybe didn't curve these as much as I should have. But you, you'll get the idea. Can you see that? How when you disrupt the pattern, and then what I would do
probably should have taken my time. Oh well. Alright, and then I think CB gave me another one to look at. So can you guys see that? How it makes the heart look like it's bulging up off the page. Now that the shadow's on it, I think it looks a lot better. Where the two don't look like they're even on the same sheet of paper. So that was one thing I thought, well, that's really simple and I can show it to you because when you do that, um, I don't know, when I look at it, just looking at the screen, it's like, wow, that heart does look like it's bulging right off the page. <clears throat> And it's a combination of the um, curved lines and the shadow. You know, it didn't really pop until you added the shadow. But, I mean, how easy is that? And you can do that on anything. You can do it for a square. I mean, you can do it for anything. So just keep in mind. Another thing you can do, that same exact thing, but rather than using the curved line technique, is just draw it bigger okay like um like if i'd done that and done just a circle okay i would draw the the checkerboard in the background smaller but then when i get inside the circle make it bigger and then um you can draw a handle or whatever but it looks like whatever you're looking at you're looking at um through a micros or a uh, magnifying glass so that's another really cool technique is the the pattern inside your shape is bigger you didn't have anything to drink but it's going after you <laughs> alright and then CB said something earlier I'll go look Look at, listen to Mother Dorothy. Jean, are you set up for your stream? Jean, don't you go to sleep now. <laughs> Windflow, fast, easy, and you can use it in regular drawing, tangle patterns. All right, I'll look up Windflow. Um, I don't think I have it in my book yet. Nope, don't have it in my book yet, so I'll look it up. So anyway, keep that in mind. Just remember that because I thought, oh, that's a cool thing. It's so easy and, and you, you guys could do it and whatever you do could look really successful. So, yeah, it's beautiful here today too. Um, Oh, that milkshake is so good. I'm so glad I didn't finish it the other night. I get one milkshake a week. And the other night, I just couldn't finish it. I was just full. So I saved it. Now I get two this week. H I okay, hang on. Let me learn the alphabet and we'll get there, C D. C D C B. You're coming up with some good ones.
right, I'm looking, I'm looking. All right. The end result is like a kind of a flower pattern, which is cute as I'll get out. Yeah, this is simple. Okay, let's do this one. Because we can, because we can, because we can, can. It's a um, coffee. I only have coffee milkshakes. I buy um, Bluebell coffee ice cream, and it's hard to find. Um, so when I find it, I buy a lot. Because it is really the best. And I've tried others. I've tried Brahms. I've tried... Walmart brand. I've tried every brand of coffee ice cream and believe me, I'm an expert. The best coffee ice cream is Bluebell. It just is. So don't waste your money buying other stuff. Just look for it and buy it. And then Robert makes some... Um, now, Robert doesn't do anything in the kitchen, so I hate to even make it sound like um, he does a lot around here because he does not. He does not do anything in the kitchen Sometimes he'll clean up after dinner. Um, most of the time, I just, you just get the hell out. Um, but, yeah, he makes the milkshakes on Friday night. And he makes them really thick. Really thick. So you have to eat them with a spoon. And I love it. But... The only reason he can make a milkshake is because I taught him how. He didn't come here knowing how to do that. Okay, so you draw two circles with a line in between them. It doesn't get any simpler than that, right? And then in the... The pattern that they're showing here, they do show you coloring in the circle and leaving a highlight, so I will do that. And then it looks like you put two little antennas off the end out here. Like that. Yeah, Bluebell makes good ice cream, even though they get recalled. <laughs> All right, are you guys with me so far? You got your two circles with the highlight and antennas? popping off all right and then off the two antennas you draw like a windmill blade it looks like that's easy enough I have to see how many they show a bunch of okay. Um inside the windmill blade they show two lines. This is really small again. And then you color like a checkerboard. Alright, well that is essentially the whole design right there. And then what you do with it from there, I think is really up to you. Where you make an entire bouquet of them. Um, yep, I like this one with the curb lines. That's cool. So I'll just go ahead. All 
I forgot the highlight on that um, dot down there. But I think one of the things that makes this an interesting design is, in fact, the highlight in the original circle. So unless you're me and not paying attention, try not to forget that because that's, I think, one of the elements that make this particularly cool. <clears throat> right, right. I'm going to try and draw my petals a little bit larger this time. Not talking, Artie. Yeah, I like this one. It's kind of pretty. I really like any design that's black and white. Uh, that's just the truth. And if you look at the beast, you can see that because my um, every page has um, a black and white border on it. And I could change it every month. I could do what I want, but I like the black and white border. So, and it's been that way for two years, and chances are I'm not going to change it, even though I have a thousand other border patterns to choose from. There's just no downside to a black and white checkerboard. Always looks good. That is cool, CB. And you could do these closer together. Um, yeah, it make a good border on a journal page and easy for sure. Yeah. And I suppose you could do as many of these as you want. Make it go straight. Um, do it for a corner like that. So draw the beads out here. Yeah. And a lot of them, you know, like I, I try not to get stuck in a rut where I always draw the same, um, the pattern the same way, you know, like try and figure out variations of it and stuff. Um, cause yeah, there's no reason I couldn't add more little baby ones if I want now. They don't always have to be the same size, right? Of course, the smaller you get, the less detail you're going to get, but Yep, this is cool. Very, very cool. But you really, I mean, if, if this is something you think you would enjoy doing, do get yourself a pattern book. Um, because when I'm draw, I mean, some of them I remember very well. Because they're my favorites and I draw them a lot. Um, but if you think you're going to remember these patterns, you're on drugs. You're not going to. And I like having them available because I don't want to have to go to the website and dig through stuff, you know. So, yep, it's pretty fun. I could just keep drawing, drawing, drawing that now. Come on. There, it's going to focus. 
And so would a border stamp. I have a lot of border stamps too, but you know the truth is, Eileen, I don't get them out. I, they're in their place. I don't get them out. I just soon sit and draw it quickly as get the damn stamp out, frankly. I know. But used to be when I didn't think I could draw, a stamp was my only option. But now that I know I can draw, why go spend the money? Yeah, I like border stamps too, Eileen. I, re I have a bunch of them. A bunch. And I have a bunch of autumn ones that I was just looking at the other day. They have pumpkins and scarecrows. and Yeah, I have a ton. I have a ton of everything. I should someday do a, a, tam a stamp tour with you guys. You'd crap if you saw the stamps. And they're actually hanging on my walls, so I'm surrounded with them all day, every day. Well, I think you guys saw the pictures. So... <coughs> Hang on, I'm just going to choke myself to death here. Looking quickly. I'm out of designs unless somebody else... Oh, that's a neat one. Let's do this one. Wibble. How to draw wibble. Wibbles wobble, but they don't fall down. <coughs> Excuse me. Really, I did. I just swallowed funky. I'm pretty sure I don't have wibble. Because I don't think I've ever seen this before. Oh, I hate not being able to see. There. I, I don't have it. Alright, look at that. That's so simple, but it looks so complicated. What the heck? Alright, so that looks like a wave. Alright, we can do this. Let's do Wibble real quick, because we can. You suck at stamps. Hi, Brenda. I would rather draw a lot of this than have the stamp. I will say that. We've drawn some fun ones today, Brenda. Did you just get off work? I hate that you have to work. I wish you could just come here and hang out with us all day. Okay. Yeah, all this stuff I dropped on the floor. Alright. We're going to draw a wibble. I don't know why they would call it wibble. Like some of these names, I have no clue how they came up with it. Isn't that the truth? Yep, a pen is easier to carry than a stamp and a stamp pad and a way to clean it up. And yep, I hear you, man. All right, they're showing it in six steps. We're going to do it in less than that. Okay, draw a big curve. Make it two-dimensional by giving it some weight. That's easy enough. Oops, I shouldn't have done that. Here, we'll do it like this. They want you to continue on like you're making a wave. That's easy enough. Right? Okay. 
Okay, so after you've got the wave, all you have to do is add, close up the opening with like a peak. That's easy enough. Right? Look at how all of a sudden that became far more complicated than it started out. Poke Rudy, are you looking at some pattern book, Eileen? Poke Rudy. I'm going to write it down and go look at it. An idiot is attempting to reach you on your cellular device. An idiot is attempting to reach you on your cellular device. Hey, stream and I'll call you back later. Okay, bye. Okay. Bye. Is that Elaine? Well, no, Elaine called earlier. That was Rock. She sold her house. She sold it? 95000 Get out of my face. Who bought it? I don't know. Some friend of the neighborhood here. Are you shitting me? What is real? I don't know. Wow. We're good on her. I figured she got 80 for it. I don't know what she was asking. Yeah, I don't either. Wow. We're good. And she didn't even have to list it, which is very nice. Wow. That might not be true, too. Well, he was just out there talking to you, so. Yeah. Just, just now told me about it. Hmm. Well, that's probably why she was calling then to tell me. All right. Poke Rudy looks like a peacock cow. All right. You saw it on the web. All right. I'm going to look it up. There you go. Oh, I'm I'm talking about the design, honey, not Elaine's house. All right, so then on the variation part of it, she shows it just like this to start with, and then at some point she starts RAing the curvy portion of it. So let's try that on this last one. Anyway, what Robert and I were just talking about, my friend Elaine, which I normally call Elaine, Eileen, Eileen, Elaine, Elaine, um, had her house on the market. She just put it on the market. She just moved not very long ago. And these are little cottages, you guys. They're sm very small. They're not on the lake. They're um, two bedroom. I would say they're less than a thousand square feet. Two bedroom, one bath cottages, right? And when I moved here, you could probably buy one of those cottages for maybe 50 grand, maybe less. But they've been kind of inching up here and there. And she just sold hers for 95, and it's not even upgraded. So, wow. That's why I'm a little floored. Kind of a lot floored, actually. Okay. This one looks really complicated. But it's not at all. That's cool, huh? I'm reading chat. I think that sounds like way too much trouble for me, Dorothy. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Charlie. Yeah. 
He must have sold it for stones on the road and stuff like that. Was she with Scott? Because she was wanting to come by here Saturday, but I never heard from her. So, was Scotty with her, or was she with Scotty? Uh, that I don't know. The pickup's over there, and I saw Scotty out there loading stuff up. All right. Maybe I when I get off here, I'll run over and see. I have to take some trash over anyway. Yeah, I will draw that one a lot. It's so simple. And look at how wo wonky my lines are, but it still looks good. So I like that. All right, now I'm going to look up the one Eileen said. Pickstats.net. All right, I'll have to type that in. Dot backsplash P. Two seven 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 two four five. All right, let's see. I typed in that whole address that Eileen had. How long have Robert and I been married? Well, Robert and I have known each other and been hanging out for. It's about 17 and a half years. Um, not finding it, Eileen. It says the resource cannot be found. So I don't know if I um, typed it in wrong or what. So. Let me see if there was Pope Rudy. I'll just type in the name that P.O. K E R O O T Y. Nina says we're cute, Robert. If you saw us in real life, you'd say, "Go get facelifts, you freaks." I just told you, Nina says she thinks we're cute, and I told her if she saw us in real life, she'd tell us to go get a couple of facelifts. <laughs> Poke Rudy Tangle. Poke Rudy. P O K E R O O T Y. There, there we go. Both of them just left. Okay. Hmm. Oh, you're talking about Poke Root. I have that one already drawn, I think. Um. Well, I guess since I didn't answer her phone call. She's not going to stop and see me. <laughs> oh, well. Here's Poke Root. Is that the one you're talking about? Poke root. Okay, yeah, I have that one already. Poke rooty. It's actually poke root. But I'm going to go, um, alright, that one actually has a YouTube video too. Um, it looks like cherries to me. I'm not sure why they call it poke root because to me it looks like cherries.
Is that the one you're talking? It is poke, Rudy, or so it says. Well, does it look like um like that? There's poke root and there's poke leaf. And one of them is round and one of them is more like a um a leaf shape. Is this what you're talking about? I'm going to see if I can take that um, link on the laptop. See where it takes me. It is rounds. Okay. It looks like a tail in the one I saw. All right. I was just, yeah, that link you put in, Eileen, takes you nowhere. It's round and leaf shaped. So it's got to be something like this. And if I just, I'm just typing in poke Rudy to see. misspell it like she did too. Yeah, see, no, that's the one. I'm sure it is. It looks like a peacock tail on the one you saw. Okay. All right. I'm going to have to just keep looking then. But yeah, I have this one already. I think you could redraw them to look almost, that doesn't look like a peacock tail, but you could make them look whatever way. But this one, it, yeah, to me it just looks like a cherry. I mean, I can draw it if you guys want. Same pattern, just a variation. Yeah, I think you're right, CB. Um, yeah, I like the poke leaf, I think, better. The heart-shaped rather than the circle. But to me, they just look like cherries. I like wibble. Wibbles wobble, but they don't fall down. All right, I'm just going to look through here. I don't have much time left. Um, did Jean say that she is ready to stream? Because if she wants to come on early, I would get off early too. Bees in the Belfry. Okay, that was... There's a lot of these that are just so simple. Like, I love worms. Um, wrapped. I wonder if I have that one. I got a. Oops, let me put the poke root card back. I mean, I will show you guys how to do this if you want. But, um, yeah. Pretty simple. I've never really used that in a design if the truth were known. Um, I never really have. I've seen other people do it, and I liked it, but um, I've never done it. All right, I don't have warped. I have warped eggs. <laughs> that sounds funny. Um, let's just look up wrapped, because I like curly Q kind of stuff. Weevil's wobble, I know. You gotta love weebles at wobble. Alright, here we go. Alright, this one looks pretty complicated, huh? Not really. Oops. I could do this forever. <laughs> yeah, it's just testing you, Jean. 
for those of you that are watching on YouTube and you know Jean, she wrote in the um, comment, she said, I am lucky to be ready on time, silly lady. Just giving you opportunity, Jean. Just giving you opportunity. <laughs> That's so funny. Are you going to watercolor today, Jean? Okay, and this one is called Wrapped. Looks pretty simple to me. You just start with a curved line. And at the end of each curl, go ahead and draw a curly cue. Now, how simple is that, boys and girls? Doesn't get any simpler than that. And then she shows them like multiple times. Um, let me see if I can do this. I know I can. All right, wait a minute. So my brain isn't seeing this correctly for whatever reason. Okay, I see what. She's just continuing the line. Okay, where here you draw the curly cue that way, here you draw the curly cue that way, I drew it too big, um, all right. So this is going this way, this would be going this way, Well, I guess she actually drew them side by side and then connected them with a line. Am I right? No, she connected them. Never mind. I don't know. Probably drawn that a million times in my life. And then laying on their side. I will never use this one. It looks kind of cool, but I will never use that in an actual design. I know me. Know me. Come on, quit doing that. And... Eileen. You take pills for your L-U-C-J-T. <laughs> yep, don't let Dorothy have a nap. For sure, for sure. Yeah, see, like in there, it looks really cool, but I, I would never use that. Um, In an actual design, I'll draw it like they show it here, but yeah, I probably would never use that in an actual design.
It sounds like they've got heavy equipment out in my backyard, so that makes me wonder what the hell the, the neighbor and Robert have cooked up. Makes me nervous, I'm saying. I'm just trying to do like a variation of this to see if there's any way I would actually use it and I'm not real sure. But I like curly cues. Milkshake brain freeze. I hear ya. Is the back out? No, the back hoe is not even here right now. But the neighbor next door just bought like a big heavy duty mower with a um, shovel on the front. Robert has a tractor across the road that has a great big shovel on the front. So believe me, these two have heavy equipment to play with. I think that's why they love each other so much. Because if your heavy equipment isn't enough, I'll go home and get mine. Yeah, there's something going on out there. They're up to something, believe me. I hope it's something that I'm going to be okay with. Now, I think this one's really cool. I don't know if I would ever use it. Maybe I would. And I don't think I have it written down. I've seen it before. Um, it's just cool because it looks three-dimensional. I like anything that you can do easily to make it look three-dimensional. That's exactly what it's like, CB. Oh, when, when the neighbor got his great big fancy ass mower with, with the bucket on the front, oh my god, they, if they were girls, they'd have been out in the front yard holding on to each other's arms, jumping up and down, squealing like little girls. I swear to god. And Robert was envious. I know he was. Robert's mower is actually nicer, but, um, yeah, when he got that bucket on the front, oh my gosh. All right, now this one's really easy. We're going to do it just because it's so cool. Um, it's so, so simple. But the way you shade it um, makes it end up looking really cool. And then um, I'm probably going to shut this circus down so I can go check on the circus out in the backyard before something or somebody gets hurt. <laughs> I don't care about the somebody as much as I care about my some things. <clears throat> yeah, I hear banging. And see, what makes me especially suspicious is Robert knows I'm streaming so that I can't come out there and ask questions. That the timing, I'm sure, was planned. Because I saw those two monkeys out there talking a little while ago. Alright, I'm just going to use this to draw the, um, the pipe, if it were, as it were.
And it's hard keeping up with Robert Vaughn and his shenanigans, I'm telling you. At least when he's in treatment, I know where he is and that he can't be hurting anything. <laughs> Real nice, Janet. Geesh. <laughs> if you guys had any idea what these two were like, you would totally get it. You'd be like, you need to go. You need to go right now. Hurry. All right. So draw like a tube. And it really is just a curvy line from edge to edge. You guys think I'm heartless. I've lived with this man long enough to know the kind of crap he can pull. You have to remember, I think I told you about the, um, yeah, she's in there drawing circles. Let's roll. Exactly, Kimberly. You are so on to him right now. Um, I think I told you guys. I don't remember. I came from the city, right? And, um... I know I told you guys this, but I'll tell you, tell you, tell it again. Um, and I had a, a cedar tree in my side yard that was one right over my um, septic leach field, and secondly, um, was cedars are very acidic and so nothing will really grow under them and so I was having trouble with erosion. Well you don't want erosion right over your septic leach field, right? So um, I just mentioned one day that I wanted this cedar tree gone and he said well you need to check with Gary. He was the neighbor at the time because I'm not real sure if it's on him or on you. And I said I'm sure it's on me but I'll, I'll check with Gary. So I um I called Gary and he said, "Nope, that's your tree. Do what you want with it." And I said, "Then I, he said, do you really want the tree gone?" And I said, "Yeah, I want the tree gone. I mean, it's it's allowing for erosion and da 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 da." Well, I figured he'd get a saw out or a chainsaw or whatever, and you know, start lobbing off branches and stuff. And he said, "You're sure you want it gone?" And I said, "Yes, I want it gone." He went and got his truck. I'd never seen anything like it in my life. He went and got his truck, um, tied onto the tree, yanked that tree out of the ground. I mean yanked it. He did not saw one branch off, nothing. He yanked the entire tree out of the ground while it was still tied to the truck. He drove around my backyard, deposited it down by the lake, Walked up to the garage, got a can full of diesel fuel, walked back down to the lake, threw it on the tree, lit a match, threw it on the tree, came back to the house, and before we went to bed that night, that tree was gone. I mean, gone. No trunk, no root balls, no anything. It was gone. Because Robert Vaughn has a theory that with enough diesel fuel, you can burn rocks. <laughs> For real. I'm not kidding you. So, yeah. I was flabbergasted. I've, I've seen several things where he flabbergasts me. But he fl flabbergasts everybody, though. You know, like everybody. He's so unconventional. They're like, I can't believe you did that. But everybody wants him to come help them do stuff because, yeah, like, he does things the simple way. So, yeah, he's pretty unconventional kind of guy. So, there you go. Something that simple. See, you just drew the wavy line and r at it, and then when you shade it, doesn't that look cool? He would get arrested. He'd probably get get arrested most places, honestly. 
oh yeah, you have to watch what you say to him. He'll always double check. He'll say, you sure you want that? It's like, yep, I want that. Next thing you know, your tree's gone. Burn before you go to bed. But, okay, now he's unconventional and very effective, Blake. But um, when he gets an idea in his head about um, how something is going to work, okay, and I, I'm trying to give you an example. Okay, um, I needed to reinforce the floor in this house. I have a huge room upstairs and a huge room downstairs and my upstairs floor was kind of squishy you know it just it didn't feel real solid and so he was wanting to um, put a post in the basement to solidify the upstairs floor and I said no I don't want that I don't want a post in the middle of that room I mean we went round and round about it because when he got it in his mind that that was the solution there was no no changing his mind and that is the other side of the coin <laughs> because when he gets it in his head that that's the correct way to do something that's what's gonna happen and I said no that's not gonna happen and we ended up um, coming up with a solution where we don't have a post in the middle of the basement and the basement is not a basement it's like a finished room it's Robert's man cave it's not like you could just put a post down there and say, hey, there's your post, <laughs> right? <laughs> God, like, no, 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 we're not doing a post. But he's, um, he's inventive. I mean, he'll think of an unconventional solution for a problem and being from the city half this crap I never even heard of you know it's like oh no 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 we could never burn in the city either um, you had to pay to get your trash and all your stuff removed and not complain about it right um, yeah down here he literally will burn metal. He'll burn anything. And he does it for the whole neighborhood. So they all think he's like Mr. Wonderful. I don't know if I'm going to like this. I'm just, I thought I saw one of them done with some of the areas darkened up. So anyway. Um, the heavy equipment has gone off, so I'm not sure if they're ran into a snag or the project, whatever they were going to be doing, has just become larger. See how I think? I'm scared to death that, well, if this is good, well, shit, this could be better. You know, like, let's dredge the lake. <laughs> you never know what they could do. <laughs> he just wanted a stripper pool. <laughs> yeah, he probably knows me a little bit better than that. I'd let him hire somebody to come in if he wanted to, but I ain't doing that. <laughs> stripper pool, that's funny. We're just going to see how different it can look. Yeah, oh yeah, this has been a good, if he's out there with heavy equipment, yeah, he's having a good day. We aren't allowed to have garden, what? 
What are FITES? Garden fights? Okay. Um, you started sandpapering my stump in. The cheap ones are working longer now. Cool. Whatever it takes. No, we've got it. We got a solution to it. Um, actually, it involved it as jacking up the entire house and putting a steel beam in, but it got done. Which is really quite inventive, which he also did by himself. We didn't hire somebody to come in and do that. Robert Vaughn did it himself. But no, this house is never going anywhere. Believe me, it's more solid than it's ever been. Just put a steel beam in. Yep, I like that one too. Yeah, those are cool looking. And if you did a bunch of them side by side, I'm liking that. We paid for the first for the three bins, but they are emptied every week. Garden rubbish once a fortnight. Yeah, see, we have we have free um, trash. We can take we can haul it over. Um, I just use the one of the gated communities trash dumps. They don't care. They like us. And they pay for it. But I would happily pay for trash pickup. Because it's something I don't like messing with. I'm just doing this now to kill time, you guys, until Jean comes on. But I'm more, more relaxed now that I know they're not out there tearing up the world. But if I go out there and figure out that they're plotting something worse, I, I may come back on just so you guys can calm me down. See, so calm down, calm down. He hasn't gone to jail yet. Actually, they could take him to jail if he's doing something stupid. I'd visit him, maybe. They may be tearing, you know what? They can go tear up anybody else's world they want. I just don't want this torn up until I know it can be put back exactly like I want it. Right? Yeah. They have, they're going to have to sell me on whatever plan they're cooking up. Actually, the guy next door, he's, he's a new neighbor, um, and him and Robert really have hit it off. I didn't like him at first, um, but I've come around, and he's, he's okay. The first time I met him, he was an arrogant jerk. Um, but yeah, now him and, and Ratatouille have become BFS because they have so many similar interests. Um, but he's also very, very talented. He's like a master woodworker. Um, so yeah, I've come around. I'm not a very trusting person initially. I figure you show me your true colors, I'm going to 
believe you. All right, we're getting close to Jean time. Jean, are you getting ready? Tell me when you're ready and I'll, we'll skedaddle out of here. Hi, Carrie Ann. Is it morning in Oz? I can't ever remember what the time difference is. I've just been zentangling again today. I don't know how long this kick will last, you know. I did magicals for like six shows, and now I'm doing Zentangle for six shows. I tend to get into um, ruts, apparently, until somebody boots me out of it. But I feel like there was something else I was going to show you guys, but I can't remember what it was. So I guess it wasn't important, right? But I haven't really done much of anything else lately. If I'm not drawing Inktober, the only other art thing I've done is Zentangle, which is really nice because it's tidy. My house has been really nice lately because I'm not doing magicals and... I don't have piles of crap everywhere. Um, he does furniture, Susan. He he does cabinetry and um, yeah, he's just apparently amazing woodworker. Okay, bye, Karen. Okay, the next time we will do the beast. I promise you, we will do the beast. And there's the preparation for the beast is zero. <laughs> Whatever it's like today is what you're going to see. There's a lot of stuff I could go back and do better or complete or whatever, but yeah, the beast is whatever it is on any given day. We don't worry about it. It's just a fun place to play. All right, there. I'm going to, before I end, I'm going to go ahead and shade this so you can look at the three tubes laying next to each other, I guess. That's what they look like to me. Tubes laying next to each other. You want to see all my stamps? Actually, you know what I want to do, and I want to do it really bad, and especially with the acrylic stamps that I bought since I've been hanging out with you monkeys. I used to be really good about having a um, stamp reference um, system, much like Jen does, you know, and only I had them in um, notebooks. Um, well, I'll pull one down and show it to you. Um, let's see, we can do holidays, birthdays, that should be a good one. All right, here, I'm going to have to zoom the camera out. Um, okay, I just have them in binders by different topics, right? And then there's a sample of each of the stamps that I have and where it's located okay because I have stamps throughout this house there's a stamp cabinet that has 30 or 40 drawers in it let's see how many there's 39 drawers in my stamp cabinet then they're hanging on the wall they're in um, the unmounted are in CD cases um, they're they're literally all over the place so in here I have a sample of each of the stamps and I originally started coloring them 
and stuff like that. Like here's Halloween. Um, and where they're at. Well, this has gotten totally out of control. Um, here's celebration birthdays. Okay, now I have, here's all the stamps that need to go in there. All right. Now I just need to slap them on the page, right? Here's words and alphabets. Um, but this has gotten out of control, okay? You can see, at some point I just gave up keeping it nice. Um, well, yeah, of course I did, Eileen. The first time I used them, when I brought them home, I stamped and colored it and put it in the book. That was the first thing I did with every stamp I ever bought. And, um, of course, then I inherited my mother's, and I think that's the point at which it got out of control. But that is a project I would really love to finish. Hi, Karen. Anyway, we're late for jeans, so you guys skedaddle. Be thinking about a good storage um, or a stamp reference um, system that I could do easily. <laughs> oh, my God, you need help. I do need help, Eileen. But you know what? I don't remember the stamps I have, so I have to have a place to look them up. Okay? You can... You can bug me over it at jeans, okay? All right, you guys, thanks for hanging out with me. There was the last tangle. Doesn't it look like three tubes laying next to each other? Kind of cool looking. Anyway, so thanks for hanging with me today. And um, we'll catch you next time. Go over to jeans.